Hi, I'm Dar with the Healy Technology Report, and today we're having a look at an Algo uh, 8180. Now, this is a fantastic device. Uh, we're also going to be talking about the 8186, which is a horn version of this. This one's internal only. The horn is internal and external. So, uh, great little devices. Canadian made. Uh, just durable. I, I don't think I've, I've seen a product with this type of, uh, weightiness to it since Nortel phone. On the back, of course, we plug in our PoE, uh, uh, cable here that provides power. You can, uh, plug in an external speaker to it, uh, which means, uh, well, this speaker won't work if you plug in an external speaker. Uh, but one of the great things about this and the 8186 is there's a talkback mode. So you put this on the wall, you page out, but you can actually hear the people talking back to it. So just a great device that way. We're going to go into configuring uh, this device in four ways. We're going to uh, configure it as a multicast pager. We're going to configure it as a uh, talkback, so an intercom type system, and then as an external ringer as uh, as well. So, But before we do, uh, our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Helia Canada, and we've got terrific videos about this, unboxing, lots of other VoIP, uh, PoE, switches, phone systems, all sorts of great stuff. And when you subscribe, you'll get notified when there's new content coming out. So please do that. Also, coupon for this and other devices on our online store. Check it out at uh, buyphonesonline.ca for Canada. I'm Dar. Let's jump in and see what this is all about. Okay, so first of all, you're going to see the uh, Algo interface up here. This is for the 8180, but the 8186 is practically identical. Let me show you what we're going to do. I've got T27 here. This is extension 1000. I've got a W56P cordless phone. This is extension 1001. And then I've, I have our 8180 here that we're going to configure. Now, uh, the first thing we're going to look at is um, configuring this as an external ringer. So we might be in a really loud shop, uh, the desk phone rings, but nobody can hear it. So this is going to ring and that's going to ring and they uh, then you can hear the phone run over to it and grab it. So let's have a look at that. So uh, you can see here the default password, Elgo. So we're going to log in. Well, isn't that wonderful? Elgo. Well, uh, cap locks on. Okay. Ha. Figured it out. Okay. So we're going to put our uh, IP address for our PBX in here. We're using a Yaystar S50. That's what you see down here. And you can see our extensions. So uh, external ringer, number one. This is the 1000. We're going to go in and, and uh, get the SIP password for this. So you can see registration password. Uh, we're going to select that. And then we're going to go over here, ring extension. That's 1000. That's the extension of this, uh, this uh, desk phone here. Uh, it's always safe to put the authorization ID the same and then the password that we just got. So you can see that there. Now we're going to save this. Uh, very good. Now one thing I'm going to tell you about the Yaystar S50. Uh, Concurrent registrations. This needs to be not one so let's check that if there's only one then you can only register one phone uh, and it's, it's just not going to work because we got two devices registering here so uh let's make sure this is registered you can see ring one successful perfecto and i'm going to turn this on its side we are going to call extension 1000 1000 so, hold on. I think what we have a problem with here is, uh, okay, let's try that again. 1,000, because I didn't set the concurrent registrations. So you can see now uh, this phone is ringing and this is ringing. Now, so what the problem was, was that uh, I 
configured this to be registered, but the registrations on the S50 only allowed for one. So that lost its registration. I placed a quick call to re-register it. They were both registered, 1,000, okay, and we're ringing. And then I can pick up the call, and of course that's gonna stop ringing. Okay. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna configure the ELGO 8180 to be a talkback intercom extension. So what that means is this might be out on the wall, uh, someone calls back to the shop and you can hear back and forth what's happening at the shop. So it's a little bit more than a paging. So th what we're gonna do is we're gonna configure that as extension 1003. So we're gonna go to my S50, uh, we're gonna go to extension 1003. I'm gonna grab my registration password here and put that on my clipboard and then back to basic settings uh, page extension 1003 and password which we can look at here uh, and then we're gonna save that uh, we're, there's a couple other things we need to do here so uh, page volume okay here we go page mode we want talk back that's two-way conversation. And then it also says uh, 722 should be disabled if using TalkBack. So we're gonna go down here, 722, disable, and we're gonna click Save. Okay, uh, right, I think we are good. So again, I can click, uh, pick up my cordless phone here, and I, I don't wanna get feedback, so I might hang up really quick. But I'm gonna dial, dial, and you can hear there was a tone there, and now I can talk back and forth. So this is a two-way intercom, really easy to set up. Uh, now, let's do the next one. Okay, so uh, we're gonna do multicast paging with the <coughs> ELGO 8180. Again, also works on the 8186, and multicast is awesome because it's low impact on your network, low impact on your uh, equipment and then you don't need a whole bunch of extra concurrent licenses for your phone system because it really bypasses your phone system. The drawback with multicast, <coughs> pardon me, is that it will not work on routed networks. So if you got remote phones and devices there, uh, probably not going to work. Uh, if you've got a routed network, you just have to do some special configuration and uh, if your routers uh, allow you to um, uh, pass on multicast traffic. So let's see how this is uh, done. First thing we need to do is uh, go to basic settings, go to multicast. Uh, we want this in slaver receive mode. Uh, by default, it's none, so slaver receive. The rest of this is fine. We're gonna choose save. And then we're gonna go into advanced settings, advanced multicast. Uh, you can see here is a bunch of information. Now, uh, multicast addresses aren't normal IP addresses. They're in a particular range, so you can't just choose everything. This is a good address, but for our Yaling phones, we've actually uh, configured a different, different address. You can see here 224011166000. It's just what, ha what we happen to be using on the Yaling phones. So we can go over here, all calls. We're gonna replace this address with this one and save it. Now, uh, a couple things with multicast. First of all, we got some great videos on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Healy Canada. Check it out and please subscribe. Uh, you'll get notifications of new videos that we get. Also, uh, multicast. Um, I've lost it. So let's, uh, let's try this out. Save. And what we're going to do is uh, call this phone just to, um, uh, because up at the top here it says, change, save is, uh, have been changed and will be applied on next call. So we did an extra call. Now we're gonna hit the multicast button on here that we programmed on our T27. And you can see here, you can talk on the uh, ALGO 8180 or 8186. And then also my uh, W56 uh, phone is configured for multicast as well. Um, all right. 
So that was the ELGO 8180, this device here, but it also applies to the 8186, which is the horn version of this. Absolutely love this product. It uh, seems to work with any phone system we've plugged into it uh, so far. Great for remote extensions. So you can have a hosted phone system and implement paging with this. Just a terrific device. Uh, ELGO 8180, ELGO 8186. Uh, check out our online store, buyphonesonline.com. Um, I'm Darzuk with the Helio Technology Report. Thanks for watching.